एवरीवन दिस इज नेहा तुलशान फ्रॉम क्रेसेंट क्रिएशन वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस ब्यूटीफुल बोके बैकग्राउंड यूजिंग सम स्टेंसिल्स फ्रॉम लॉन फॉन दिस स्टेंसिल्स फ्रॉम लॉन फॉन आर एक्चुअली बिग बबल स्टेंसिल एंड बैकग्राउंड बबल स्टेंसिल फ्रॉम द स्प्रिंग रिलीज एंड आई एम यूजिंग दिस स्टेंसिल्स क्रिएटिवली टू क्रिएट दैट बोके इफेक्ट फॉर माय बैकग्राउंड्स आई एम स्टार्टिंग विद सम इंक ब्लेंडिंग हियर यूजिंग माय डिस्ट्रेस ऑक्साइड्स एंड ब्लेंडिंग ब्रशेस For my first background I'm using ripe persimmon abandoned coral and seedless preserved distress oxide inks. You can choose any inks you want for this technique. You can use regular distress inks, you can use dye inks, you can even use watercolors. So whatever is available for you can be used. So here I started with inking one side of my A2 size panel using ripe persimmon. Then I came in and blended that color using abandoned coral. I went back and forth between the two colors to get a good blend. And now I'm blending seedless preserve into the abandoned coral. Again, going back and forth between both the colors to get a good blend. And once I'm happy with the blending, I'll move on to the next one. For my next background, I'm starting with mustard seed here and covering almost one third of my A2 size panel. I wanted to have this bright yellow color in the center and bring in the dark shades from top and bottom, concentrating more of those darker colors towards the bottom and little on top. This picture here on the left was my inspiration for this background that I picked up from in Pinterest. Here I'm blending dried marigold into the mustard seed. Then I'll bring in the fired brick color uh, which brings that nice dark red to the background. Next to make the colors a little more darker toward the edges, I will bring in black soot and blend that with fired brick. I'm using post-it tapes to mask off my fingers to help me hold my cardstock while I'm blending it. Well you really don't have to hold the cardstock or the ink pad for that matter since we're using the uh, water medium mat from Waffle Flowers which helps to uh, keep the cardstock and the ink pads uh, in place while we are inking. Once I'm done blending the bottom part of this panel I'm adding a little bit of those all those darker colors to the top part of the panel to get a similar look as per my inspiration picture from Pinterest. and i'm very happy with how these board backgrounds turned out for the next step you need a clean blending brush and you can use this blending brush cleaner from my etsy store to clean all your blending brushes it does a really good job at it to create a bokeh effect on the background you need white pigment ink some clean blending brush and different size stencils circle stencil and both these uh, bubble stencil from lawn fawn was perfect for this so here i was starting with my a uh, big bubble stencil from lawn fawn and lightly inking the white pigment ink onto the background i'm using two three different sizes circle opening on the stencil and randomly uh placing the stencil onto the background and inking the circles next i'm using one of the stencils from the bubble background stencil pack and inking up the background again with the same white ink and this time i went a little heavy handed with my ink blending lastly coming in with my second stencil from the bubble background stencil pack and this time i'm inking up the background heavy handed with the white pigment ink so this way you get three layers of stenciling on your background with different opacity of circles and i just love how this turned out so i'm going to repeat the same steps for my next background but before moving on to my next background i cleaned my stencil my work surface and my blending brush pretty nicely so i don't have any residual ink left uh, from my last background so here i'm going very light handed with my first stencil that's the uh, big bubble stencil from lawn fawn Next I'll use one of the stencil from the bubble background stencil from Lawn Fawn. This time going a little heavy handed. Just one thing to remember, pigment inks take time to dry. So make sure you're not moving the stencil a lot on the background or you might smudge those white circles that you just created. Lastly using the second stencil from the bubble background stencil pack and inking up the circles heavy handedly. So you get this beautiful three layers of stenciling. um that creates your bokeh effect now for one of the card sentiment i die cut happy using the oliver stitched abc's from lawn fawn using white card stock i also die cut it uh die cut the happy sentiment using some fun foam and now i'm gluing uh the card stock and the fun foam die cut together to create a dimensional sentiment 
Now I'll glue the happy sentiment to the background panel using the ruler as my guide. I started with gluing the center letter first. Then I glued the rest of them making sure everything is centered and straight. Once done gluing, I'll move on to stamping the sentiments birthday for both my cards. I'm going to white heat emboss both these sentiments on black cardstock. So here I have prepped my surface first using an anti-static powder, powder tool. And then I'm stamping these two birthday sentiments uh, from Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink. And now I'll pour a white embossing powder on both these sentiments. And then heat set these uh, using my heat tool. The scripty birthday sentiment is from the big scripty uh, stamp set from Lawn Fawn and the other one is from the happy 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 stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Here I'm using my gulletin trimmer to trim off the birthday sentiment. Also use my scissors to trim off the sides and then I'll add some double sided foam tape to the behind of this sentiment. And before gluing that in place I'll first go ahead and trim off this background panel 1 8 inch um, from all the four sides so I get this nice border all around when I glue it to my card base. Here I'm gluing my background panel to a black cardstock which is just a little bigger than my background panel giving a beautiful thin border all around and then I'm gluing it to my card base. This way I have double matting for my card front both in black and white. Now I'm gluing the birthday sentiment making sure I'm happy with the placement. Lastly, adding some Americana jewel drops from my Etsy store to add some touch of bling to it. For finishing touches, added some shine to the happy sentiment using my Spectrum Noir uh, glitter pen in clear. For my next card, I'm stamping the sentiment happy uh, directly to the background panel using Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. I'll stamp the sentiment a few times to get a crisp image. And the sentiment is from the happy, happy, happy stamp set from Lawn Fawn. Next, I'll glue the scripty birthday sentiment uh, that I fuzzy cut using my scissors off camera. I'm gluing it just below the happy sentiment that I just stamped, placing it a little off center towards the right as I want to have a little space towards my left to glue down a few birds that I have stamped and colored off camera. I'm matting it the same way as I did my previous card, first on a black cardstock and then to the card base, having a beautiful black and white border all around. These birds are from the big scripty stamp set from Lawn Fawn that I already had die cut and colored uh, in my stash from a previous project. And I thought they will be a perfect match for this card so I added them using double sided foam tape near the birthday sentiment. Now I'm adding some jewels in gold and silver color from the metallic mix jewel uh, pack from my Etsy store. And that's it. That finishes my two card projects for today, showing you how to create the bouquet effect on your background using the two new bubble stencils from Lawn Fawn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will give this technique a try. If you do, don't forget to tag me on your social medias using the hashtag Crescent Creation. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more crafty videos. Comment and let me know which one of these cards were your favorite. And here are a few more vi videos that you might like to watch. Thank you for visiting. Have a nice day.